Welcome to this episode of Ask the Guitar Coach, the only podcast where you get answers to all your guitar-related questions. If you're interested in developing your guitar skills and reaching your music goals, please send me an email at the email address ioannis at ioannis.org. That is I-O-A-N-N-I-S at I-O-A-N-N-I-S dot org so that I can let you know about all the different packages of Elite Guitar Coaching and how you can get private coaching by me. Without further ado, let's go to our question for the day. What can I do to make my guitar picks less slippery? So here's a really good question. What can one, can one do to make the guitar picks less slippery? Now, we've answered it in the past. A similar question is uh, similar to, oh, my picks are slipping away, what can I do? And a lot of the advice I gave on that video is about um, how you can handle your hands so that they are less slippery, so that you sweat less and different things like that. However, for this video, I'm going to concentrate on what you can do with the picks specifically, so not with your hands. So let's get started. Let's start with the easiest and smartest idea first. Just buy guitars, I'm sorry, just buy guitar picks that are non-slippery. Jim Dunlop has picks like that. I have one right here. It's this one. You can see that it has a file right here, okay? That when you, it's a very coarse surface, but when I grab it, it's very difficult to let go, even if like my hand sweat or something like that. So that would be the smartest, the best and the quickest solution to this um, problem. The, this pick, um, unfortunately I don't know the name, if it has a specific name, I know it's from Jim Dunlop and this is what it looks like. It's blue, I think it also comes in green but don't quote me that, um, and it has this file, this grey file right here on top. Moving on to solution number two. Solution number two is basically doing solution number one, but with a do, in a do-it-yourself fashion, which means you get a pick, an actual pick, whichever one you want, and then you take a heavy file and you file the part of the pick that keeps slipping away from you. So if it's on the top part where your thumb meets the pick, you file away that part of, of the pick, not the thumb, make this clear. So, if you file this away, it uh, becomes much more coarse, it becomes a much less smooth surface and now you can grab it much easier. Now, for really difficult uh, cases, there is a third solution that is <laughs> even more do-it-yourself than this second solution. And uh, this happens several times when the pick is quite thin or it doesn't give you a good enough grip to, to file it over and make it um, grip your, uh, your hand. So, what you do in this one is you use super glue. You put super glue on the pick, not on the top, on the tip, but right here where you're supposed to be grabbing it, okay? You put super glue, you let it dry out, and then you file down the super glue in a way that's very coarse and it's very not smooth. And this way you can grab it much, much more easily. So there are th these three ways is what I've used for different situations in the past to be able to make this, the picks not slip from my hand. Actually, I'm not... My picks usually don't slip and this has to do with uh, the way you hold the pick and everything, but for specific musical styles that uh, require a much harder pick attack, I've seen that it's possible to start for the pick to start um, slipping away and this is where I've used it in the past and also several times students of mine have had problems like that so we've had to correct them in this way. So there you have it. I hope this was helpful and now no more picks are going to be slipping away from your fingers and I will see you on the next episode of Ask the Guitar Coach. Bye bye.